to raise any issue concerning the farm sector, including three farm bills that some members were keen to raise in the House and even demanding their withdrawal. Yesterday was a golden opportunity for the concerned members to have gone on record with their positions on all issues relating to the right of the farmers. But it was not to the... We see, please, please have the decency at least. The chair is saying something, at least to hear it. You may, you may not agree, that's a different matter. Hmm. The positions on all issues to the right of farmers, but it was not to be as the sole intention seems to be, not to allow the house to function. Sir, 35 bills right, have been right, passed. Right at the start of the proceedings of the House yesterday, I have cautioned them not to take up the listed discussion on farm sector. And then, the, what is worrisome, some members of the House have caught the sad moments of sacrilege in the House yesterday and posted it on the social media. By doing so, they only ended up showing the people to the extent which this August House can degenerate to the newfound competitiveness and aggressive disruption by some sectors. I was very sad. I am deeply anguished and also the nation also is anguished. As the chairman of the house, I am sacred to visualize the implications and consequences of such competitive acts of sacrilege in our temples of democracy. I earnestly appeal to the corrective conscience of this house to seriously reflect on what happened yesterday, to explore the remedies. If any failure to do would certainly amount to a setback to our parliamentary democracy and to make it irrelevant. I would like to remind all of you that we begin to celebrate 25 years of our independence in a few days from strong. The choice before each one of you is very clear. Either to be best parliamentarian or the worst disruptor, the choice is worse. And I am told that some people have complained about not showing this in the Rajya Sabha. I don't know why Rajya Sabha TV is not showing. This also can be shown. Manani Sabha Pati Honorable members, I, re I rise in deep anguish to place and record the way this August House is being subjected to sacrilege and that too propelled by a sense of competition among some sections of the House since the commencement of this monsoon session. Everything said or done, violating, hurting or destroying this sacredness of any place amounts to an act of sacrilege. We are a land of temples, churches, mosques and gurudwaras. These are holy places with demarcated sac sacred areas which are known as sanctum sanctorium. The parliament, the apex legislature of our country, is regarded as the temple of democracy. The table area where the officers and supporters of the, reporters of the house, the secretary general and the presiding officer are seated is considered as the holy sanctum sanctorium of the house. A certain degree of sacredness is attached to this place. In our temples, devotees are allowed only up to this sanctum sanctorium and not beyond. Entering this sanctum sanctorium of the house in itself is an act of sacrilege. It has been happening as a routine for some time. I am distressed by the way this sacredness was destroyed yesterday. When some members sat on the table, some others climbed on the table of the house, perhaps to be more visible in such acts of sacrilege. I have no words to convey my anguish and to condemn such acts. As I spent a sleepless night, <laughs> last night, I struggled to find out the provocation or reason for forcing this August house to hit such a low yesterday. A discussion on agriculture problems and solutions for the listed. There can be difference of opinion and there can be a specific demand from anybody. They could have discussed it in the house, protested and voted against that, this thing. And you, you have got every right, members have got every right to demand for it, withdrawal also. But it is for the government to act. You can't force the government to do this or not to do this. Different kinds are admitted by chair. Language were used by the list of business is drafted in such a way that it is acceptable to all sections of the house without... Uh, denting the trust of the issue to be discussed. It happened yesterday too, and the chair has been doing it for a year. I find it difficult to understand as to why the subject was listed in the list of business for yesterday would have prevented any member.